Hello, Worth Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program. This time we are going to be doing a mission to go to the moon and put a surface outpost on the moon. Now, there are a few requirements for us to do this, and one of them is um, that it has a docking port and can generate power, that it can fully support five Kerbals, that it can maintain stability for 10 seconds, and that it has to land on the moon. Now, I already have an idea for that. And of course, there's some other things to do on the moon as well. Plant a flag, put a satellite on around the moon, get science data from around the moon, and then explore the moon, which is rendezvous two vessels in the orbit of the moon and return to Kerbin from the surface of the moon. We may not do this part uh, this episode. Um... I'm just trying to think uh, what we, we would what we would need to do is basically have a uh, well we might be able to do it we might be able to do it I'm just thinking um hmm we might be able to do this but anyway we're gonna need a big ship that uh, that can haul something big like a mobile processing lab oh my gosh this is the key to getting some nice juicy science really good really delicious science um, from the moon and uh, we're gonna probably gonna put one of these on the moon and on um, minimus but we're gonna go ahead and research the uh, the mobile process claim see we got plenty of science to do quite a bit of research I'm also going to get a new command module, the M13 command pod, which can hold three. And with the processing lab, it can hold two, so that will be five right there. So I'm going to go ahead and research that. I'm, I might actually use this uh, Mooner excursion module. I don't know. Oh, that would only be four then. That's, that's too bad, because that's kind of cool looking. Um, might use it some other time. Uh, what else do we need for this excursion? We probably need this claw at some point. Um, we will need these bigger docking ports at some point. I don't know that we need it right now. Let's get these other things first. Like the advanced fuel systems. Oop. And the advanced heavy rocketry to get that mainsail engine. Yep. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and get this bigger uh, fairing and the radial attachment and the docking port. There we go. Beautiful. Um, what else do we need? An inflatable airlock. That is cool. Okay. Hmm. What else do we need? It's all kinds of neat stuff in here. Um, hmm. I don't think we need any of these little things just yet. Um, we'll go ahead and get the claw. Because I want it. The landing stuff. Hmm. I don't want to try out the, the landing gear and see if they're any better. See if they're any better than they used to be. Um. Okay. Let's see what other science are there. Infrared telescope. Scanning. This is some science. Okay. There's another science right here. Okay, let's go ahead and get these two sciences. Let's get the seismic accelerometer and then the atmospheric fluid spectrovariometer. But of course, this won't work in space, it'll only work uh, in atmospheric places. So that's, that's fine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stop there I think and I don't think I need any of these things particularly 
All right, let's go ahead and get them. Why not, right? I don't think I need this though, or anything. Might need those air brakes at some point, but okay. Might need this advanced reaction wheel. Okay, got that. Let's just go ahead and get unlock this stuff. Why not, right? Go ahead and unlock it all. There we go. Used up all my sights. Very good. Okay. Now, a rocket to go to the moon and um, do some stuff. I want to see this. what this thing looks like. It's already got RCS and everything on there. That is cool. I like this thing. That is awesome. It's got a little monopropellant tank on it. That That's really neat. Too bad it's not going to work for us today. All right. We are going to take this big Mamma Jamma. She can hold uh, three Kerbals. All right. And um, yeah, this is a big, big time. We're in the big times now. All right. So we will also need for this guy the mobile processing lab, which is... Wink. This boy, boy, right there. Now, we've got this is our lander. <laughs> we've got to figure out a way to get this sucker on the ground. So, it's not coming home. So, it doesn't need parachutes. It does not need parachutes. It will need a satellite of some sort. Um, I could put it right on top. It's kind of ugly could put it on the side but then that will mess up my um, torque so that's a big old that's a big old dude we'll put it on top um, but first we need to put something else on top some batteries it's big old batteries let's see what's the biggest battery we got 400 I should have invested in bigger batteries that's fine let's put a service bay no big service bay yeah we're gonna put a big service bay on there we're gonna put a big service bay on there we'll put it down at the bottom though uh, spin you around there we go let's put inside of here some batteries mm-hmm Turn them over. I'll put you guys right about there. Alright, and then we'll also need some uh, science in here. We will put in the thermometers. Okay. There we go. We'll put a thermometer in right there. Gonna put a seismic accelerometer in right there. We will put in the press map barometer over here. We'll put in a mystery goo right there. And what else is there? A science junior needs to be in there. There. Okay. Let's move that just a hair. I don't mind a little clipping, but I don't want too much. Don't want too much. There we go. I don't, I don't care about the batteries clipping. That's fine. Okay, and then um, put this bad boy on here. Okay, it's in there, and what else? That's it for the science, okay? Now our science is all set. Now this will need some RCS, for sure, for sure, for sure. So, 
Let's go ahead and find a nice RCS fuel tank. Put that one in there. That one on there. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I should take this out and put it on top here. So that they can exit out. Now, but then they'll still have to. Oh, I got, I got, I got ladders. I got ladders. Mobility enhancer. Why is it doing that? Okay, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. Nice, beautiful ladder just like we always wanted there we go beautiful and extend the ladder um let's see let's just fix that just a little more okay maybe I should just use the other one it's not that much more expensive. I kind of like this one, Tater. It looks cool. What's the difference? Uh, it's just longer. Yeah. It's about two meters, but that's fine. I think we'll be all right. Retract that letter. Okay. This is going up there. Got that going. We're going to put the satellite on the top. Let's extend that. What does that look like? It'll look like that. Alright. Very good. Okay. And then we will put some um photovoltaic panels on this. We'll put in one by six. And get those on there. And then we'll put on some three by twos. Um, where can I put these things? Put them right here. Hmm. Maybe just the three by sixes. I think we'll be all right. Oh, we're gonna need a docking port. Darn. Uh, this satellite's gotta go. Bye bye. Put on a docking port. It doesn't have to actually dock with anything. <laughs> Remember that. Um, it's actually not going to dock with anything at this point. It just needs a docking port. Um, so let's put on the docking port junior. There we go. And then we'll put on the satellite. Okay. No harm, no foul. Now that looks like crap. Okay. Harm and foul. Let's see, maybe we just need a better satellite over here, like on the back, just like so. Come on, man. You're not going to work with me, are you? Not going to work with me, are you? I think it's the... Uh, it's the design of this capsule is kind of at a different angle than these parts. Let's take the flag off. Okay. This thing is still not right. Okay. There we go. That looks better. Kind of. Let's move them over 
just a hair. There we go. And then let's make this just right. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's get um, let's get my action group set up. Let's toggle the those things. Okay, got that done. And we're gonna call this the DVS Mooner Lab MK1. Okay, now. This is almost done. Almost done. We need some thrusters. Let's take a look at our. Yeah. It's got thrusters up here, but I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more on there. Add just a little bit of versatility to life. There we go. And then. Maybe down here at about the same location from there we go from the uh, center mass there. Okay, now that's our lander for the most part. We need some fuel and a way to get this onto the ground. And since it's so big, that's not the easiest thing to do ever. Um, we will need something big, but not too big. Something that will give us enough delta V to land. Um, where's the. Whoa, the terrier changed with 1.6. It's a whole different looking rocket now. They're all they're all changed. Huh. Alright, let's find the poodle. Where's the poodle at? Cheetah. I used to could just look and see, but now that they all changed, I'm having trouble finding the Mr. Poodle. Where where's Poodle at? Skipper. Oh, there he is. Huh. Okay, that's 1135 delta V, that's not enough to get us on the surface. Um, so, I was thinking, here I go thinking again, what if we put some sepatron, some uh, something on here on the sides Okay, but let's finish this first. Um, let's put our biggest landing gear on them. Okay. Let's put it over here so it doesn't obstruct the ladder. Okay. There we go. There's some bad boys. Ooh, they just barely, barely doing the job there. Whoops. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hopefully these guys <laughs> won't bounce too much. Alright. I'm going to deploy them shielded. Um, start retracted. Get some auto struts going. Auto strut everything and there. Now I was thinking if we put on some side things here, um, some radial decouplers is what I'm at looking for. Like right there. Um, not four though. Oops. 
some regular decouplers. And what if we put some big old Haas poodles on there? Like something like I mean I don't know I'm not even thinking about how we're gonna get this to the surface yet. So I'm just I'm just thinking. So cut me some slack. That didn't work out. And there we go. Hmm. And then we'd put uh, poodles on those bad boys. Okay, that's forty-one sixty-six. That would definitely get us there. <laughs> that would definitely get us there. And. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of that. <coughs> Obviously, I'm too stupid to figure that out. Okay. Let's put that on there and then rotate that around. Uh, let's try this. Let's try it one more time. I, I think it'll look cool with those tilted ones. I think it'll look cool. Let's try it one more time. Okay. There we go. Now we're cracking. Oh. These are blocked. Poo on you then. Poo on you then. Um, I could take these off and put them somewhere else. Like up here. What does that look like? I can actually put four up there. That actually kind of works out better. Yeah. Unfortunately, the door to the retractable thing blocks the hatch. Blocks the hatch just a bit. Okay. I can just push it out of the way. <laughs> I can just push these out of the way. Push that hatch out of the way. Okay. Now, <clears throat> or we can we can retract it when we get ready to go outside. That's that's fine. All right. So now we need some cone tops. That looks obscene. Okay, now we go. Now those thing, this thing is ready to land on the moon. This is huge. This is a huge, 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 huge beast of a lander that will never, ever, ever work. Uh, I just don't think this will ever work. <laughs> First of all, how the heck are we going to get this thing off the ground? Um... We don't have a we don't have a fairing that's big enough to encompass this massive yeah this massive beast of a ship here. Maybe it'll just fly up. Maybe we should put something smaller on here. Maybe we put the uh, put the smaller some smaller things on there, like the. Um, Like these guys. Hmm. 
like this one. This is a little bit smaller. That's probably too small. Let's put the terrier on there and see what that looks like. It's 2400. Um. We could put. Nope, it's too big. Too big. Probably just need a regular cone on this, right? Nope. Nope. <laughs> There we go. 2400, would that get us on the surface of the moon? I think it will. All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna give the old college try, okay. Now, um, to get this bad boy up into, into space is a whole nother story. We're gonna need a big inline reaction wheel. And we're going to need lots of fuel because this sucker's heavy. Um, hmm. Let's get all of these burning at the same time. There we go. That actually needs to be down here. Just like so. Okay. <clears throat> And we will put on fuel ducts. Uh, that didn't work. There we go. Very good. All right. And now, um, from word from our sponsor. Just kidding. I don't have a sponsor. All right, let's see here. Um, we need the biggest fuel tanks out there. These bad boys. Should I try to put on the uh, the fairing at this point? See if it'll see if it'll cover it up. I don't think it will. Still. Uh, actually, it would. So. Let's, uh, we'll have to put it further down so that it can extend out. Let's put on a big fuel tank. Hmm. Let's say... Let's try one of these. Okay. And then... One of these. I normally try to do these off camera so you don't have to suffer through all this but I thought you know what we'll do one on camera for once oh my god it's a thing of beauty okay 2420 to get us down on the surface of the moon. So that means this this stage up here is going to be even more critical. So we need this is going to be the actual upper stage. So we need a big upper stage that will get us from Kerbin to the moon, which is about a thousand delta V. All right, so if we do that, we don't quite have enough thrust to weight ratio to move this bad boy. Look at this, 0.49. Can't move. Oh wait, let's put it. In, let's put it in no ammo. Let's put it on the moon. Okay, yeah, it does now. Okay, good. Whew. All right, so um, yeah, on the moon. Yeah, you know, it'll definitely have. I mean, in the vacuum of space, it'll definitely have enough. Um, umph. okay, that's the first stage, this is the upper stage, <clears throat> 1,600, 1,664 to get us to the moon, maybe in orbit, yeah. 
Now let's put in a um, another coupler, and we're gonna put another bad boy down here. We'll put one, two of you, and we'll put on a mainsail. All right. That's 1261, and the thruster weight ratio is okay to get us off the ground, all right. But, and that's a big but, that's a really big but. But, um, put those together. The, uh, hmm, we need more fuel to get us up into orbit. We need, this is, this is just to get us off the tarmac. We need to get us all the way into orbit on this lower stage. So, because I want to retain that 1664 for getting us to the moon and then in an orbit of the moon. So, let's put on some decouplers. I don't know where the exact side is with, with this thing on there. <laughs> okay, there we go. Quite a bit of torque on this bad boy. Due to those side boosters. Okay, um, I'm gonna put four of those guys on there. And we will put on Some more of these guys. All right, that worked out just exactly like I thought it would. <laughs> Not very well. Okay, there we go. Put those on there, and let's go ahead and pop another set of you guys on there. Like so, and Cody X are smaller, okay. Um, what's this skiff look like? That'd be 3656 to get us into orbit. Are they lighter than these? Oh, a lot lighter. Not quite as much thrust. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and put on some fuel ducts. Um, these guys will go to. Let's, let's change that. Ah, stop it. All right. These guys. No. I'm gonna have to. Uh, am I gonna have to take these off so I can do two at a time? For God's sake. Okay. He's going to him. Okay. And then he's going to him. That okay. He's going to him. No. He's going to him. And then he's going to him. There we go. Very good. Auto strut them. Auto struts everywhere you can. Auto strut, auto strut. That's what we do. Auto struts. Ask for them by name. Okay. I'm gonna auto strip that guy too. Auto strips them. I definitely need auto strips. Definitely. Okay. 
Now, <clears throat> some nose cones on these bad boys. Oh, and also, I need to put this down there and separate these up between. Okay. This is the second one. I don't remember how to break them off. Oh, just like that. Okay. Alright, the first one. No, we idiot. Okay. The first one here will come down. See. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we did this right. First, we're going to launch, and then we're going to decouple these two that are the external feeding external tanks. That one. And, no, nope, that one feeds the direct tank. Almost had it. Almost had it. Okay. Now, these will break off first, and then these will... Oh, no. I did not do it right. <laughs> Alright. So this one's right. That one's right. This one's wrong. So I need to take this one up there. Okay. And then up here, that one needs to come off first. It needs to come, no, you idiot. This one needs to come down here. Okay, now I got it right. Whew. Okay, now we need some nose cones on these bad boys. Oh, look at this, beautiful. This is going to be wonderful. All right. Wonderful. And then we'll put on the aerodynamic nose cones. There you go. And then we're going to spin them guys around. Boop. Nice. All right. So. What do you think about this? Will it even fly? Will it get us into orbit? I just don't know. I just don't know. Okay, so these three stages combined is 3850. That's just enough to get us into orbit. So, and we've got 104 for a thrust to weight ratio. Should we put on one more set of decouplers with some boosters just to give us that oomph at the very beginning let's see what this does for us okay let's put this down here just like so these guys go on here all right that puts us up to 152 for our initial launch. I think we're going to try this. <clears throat> I think we're going to try this, not that. Alright. So let's auto strut them guys. Auto strut. Okay. This will not have our satellite on it. <laughs> this is as much as we can handle, I think. Okay. Actually, the satellite pillar would be not that much more, but I don't really have anything up there. Hmm. <laughs> Always a thinking, aren't you, buddy boy? Okay. If we put this on there, um, up there. Okay. What does it have to have? First of all, I guess that's the question. Does it have to have a mystery goo? K 
Okay, so let's put on some mystery goo container. Just one of them, please. There we go. Now I guess we better put on two just for the. There we go. Don't need the thermometer. Technically, we don't need this. We can put on a docking clamp. Uh, is it a junior? It's a regular. No, it's a junior. Okay. go no that's not gonna work you can't put on a docking clamp because the uh, the engine won't be able to detach oh but we can put on a little decoupler separator after that okay I will decouple separate from that and let's just separate we don't need Let's just separate. We don't need all that extra stuff. Okay. We're gonna have to fix our fairing a little bit. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. And yeah. That didn't hurt my Delta V hardly at all, really, to tell you the truth. Okay. Let's save that. Um Will this work? Man, I don't even know. I don't even know if this is going to work. Don't even know if this is going to work. This is... This feels very iffy to me. Very iffy to me. Where's the... Those down there go... Uh, shoot. Okay, let's add another thing on there for these. Okay, down here. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Forty-three oh eight to get me into orbit. Let's see. Can we edit this fairing? Let's come down here. Something like that. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go back one. Let's just make it look a little less. Eh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh my gosh. Will this thing work? Don't know, but stay tuned next episode to see if this baby can get off the ground and get to the moon and help us get a lot more science. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.